I'm just uh, streaming this afternoon so that people can get their Twitch drops. So uh, it's just going to be some crafting and dailies. When I see we have a few people uh, in the chat, uh, you're welcome to hassle me and I'll uh, talk for a bit. But it's mostly just going to be running around doing normal stuff. Winston's wide awake and ready for his close-up. psycho I'd say happy Mother's Day to you too but that seems awkward but then again you're just as much of a mother as I am so that'll work bliss hi bliss a true happy Mother's Day to you god Get I don't know here. how people do Got it an errand for you I'm mother to Winston the Wonder Beagle and that's enough mommin for me mommin I don't know what that means. Rhymes with ramen, though. So what'd you guys do for Mother's Day? Either of you take somebody out, get taken out, somebody bringing you special stuff? It always reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from uh, the Sandman Slim series. Anyone can bring you chocolate and flowers, but if somebody will disem but if they'll disembowel somebody for you, that's true love. Little loving sentiment on this Mother's Day. So I had an embar. Oh, spending the day enjoying the family. Nice. Going golfing, about the same. Great. How often do you golf, Psycho? I've never understood the attraction to it, but I don't want to yuck on anybody else's yum. So uh, I had this senior moment yesterday. I posted about it in uh, Guild Discord. Uh, that's the Architects of Inspiration Guild for any of you folks listening to this after the fact. Great guild to be in. Uh, but I uh, was watching Lucky Ghost's Twitch channel in the morning, and he was talking about his new uh, solo Nightblade build. And so uh, I asked... Uh, uh, if I were going to do solo arenas, which version of it he'd recommend. And the version he recommended uh, meant that I had to go make a new five-piece set. So I Can went off to the transmute station and made my new five-piece set. And as a test case, I, I usually take things to Fungal Grotto 1 on uh, VET and see if I can solo them. And I, I went in... And it wasn't going well. I brought out Miri as a healer just to have some backup. But my resistances seemed ridiculously low. Uh, they were under 10,000. My health was low. My stamina kept running out. 
Um, and this is a set that is good if your stamina is low, but I just had no stamina. I finished the dungeon. I only died once, um, and that was in the final boss fight. Finished the dungeon and went to look to see what could possibly be why he would recommend this build and realized that in place of three of the five pieces of armor, I was wearing nothing at all. I was doing this dungeon on bikini armor, for the most part. Hey, Wicked! Thanks so much for joining! Wicked and I just hooked up yesterday. She was looking for some uh, he or she, now that I, meant, now that I think of it. I don't know. They! they we're going to go with they. Uh, they were looking for some uh, crafting materials, and I sent them some, and then shook them down to uh, follow me. Because that's my new technique now, is uh, I'm just going to start giving away things and then uh, making people follow me. <laughs> Thanks, Wicked. <laughs> I'm not doing anything exciting today, but you're welcome to watch my beagle. Uh, Winston the Wonder Beagle's hanging out at the end of the sofa, and uh, he is a true gaming companion, always here, always keeping me company. Ooh, anybody need an exemplary swift wing? Wing? Ooh, in Way West, it's in Way West. Yeah, anybody need an exemplary swift ring? I have one on me. Uh, Wicked, it was no trouble at all. I I thought I had plenty of it, and when I looked, I had, I don't know, a couple thousand of those, so sending you a stack was the easiest thing in the world. I was happy we connected. I try to do that every now in the zone chat to make up for all the real dicks that are out there that, you know, when you ask for something, they just uh, whinge on about it. I'm not thrilled about the people that ask for... Um, gold outright that's like there's so many ways to make gold but i know what it's like when you're trying to do a quick crafting job and you don't have the things you need uh, duck fart in our guild uh helped out helped me out a couple weeks ago when for whatever reason i had no violet caprinius on me and i couldn't turn in my stupid daily alchemy writ because of it so here's the interesting thing about talking and gaming. I have no problem with fighting and talking, but man, m crafting and remembering what I just got and where it all goes, I lose track of everything. So now I have to head back because I want to go to the bank so I can put the swift ring in the guild bank. Hey, Wicked, I should send you an invite to our, to our guild. Let me see if I can accomplish that somehow. Um, gotta be away. Uh, social, guilds, architects, recruitment. Uh, link in chat. Okay. So I'm going to... I can do this. I know how to do this, really. I know how to do this. Okay, calm down. I'm going to go into social. I'm going to go into my mail. I still have my mail. I'm going to view gamer card. I'm going to add as a friend. And then... I'm going to... what am I going to do? Uh, can I... no, I can't whisper. Oh, sweet! You got uh, you got ESO Plus! That's marvelous. I'd, oh, and now I've got you as my friend. So now... I can... Come on. Um, sorry, when I'm... Seemingly not doing anything, I'm in my uh, Xbox menu, which doesn't show up in the stream, thank goodness. Uh, I just have to find... I think it's 
Silas. There we are. Oh, I still can't. Okay. Let's go go. Architects. What I need to do is to be able to whisper you that... Oh yeah, it's totally it. You totally need plus to do anything in this game. Uh... Hey Wicked, if you're in ESO right now, uh, go ahead and uh, whisper me something and then I can uh, link the guild chat back to you. I'm just having trouble getting to that poor thing right now. How's Halalumi? Hey, I know what would work, Wicked. Uh, tell me what zone you're in. Or, duh, yeah, because I can't group with you because, uh, oh, there you are. You are brilliant, thank you. Text chat, whisper, and then I'm gonna back out of that. And go to my guild menu. Architects of Inspiration. Guild listing, link in chat. There! Boy, that was a long way to do a simple thing. Uh, it really is a, a great uh, guild wicked, and especially if you're just starting out, anytime you need anything, it, it's almost guaranteed there'll be a half dozen, if not more, people online willing to help you with anything, whether it's dragging you through a dungeon or uh, getting you some materials you need or crafting stuff for you. Um, it's really a good, good group. Hey, we got five viewers. That is awesome. Uh, and one of the reasons why that's awesome is because I am uh, desperately trying to get uh, affiliate status. And when I get affiliate status, uh, oh, uh, update the Discord login later today. I'm I'm sure I'm sure that has meaning. I'm so out of the loop on what Discord requires for you guys to do in the background so that we can use it. I'm just grateful for it. But thanks, Duck. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm grateful to have five viewers because I have to meet certain requirements to become an affiliate, one of which is getting 50 followers. So go out and find 15 people uh, that uh, would be willing to follow me. Uh, but the other thing I have to do is maintain a uh, at least three people on average uh, viewing the streams. And then uh, if I can get to affiliate status, then I'm gonna have a longer conversation with everyone about how to use your free Amazon, prime Amazon gaming uh, subscription to uh, give it to me. I want it. Uh, but that's a, a conversation for Hey, if I can take money from Amazon, that seems like a good deal, doesn't Your it? Your gold looks... Oh, that's right. I took my, uh, I took my keyboard off to, uh, make it easier to... Ah! 
but to have a better sounding time. microphone, and now I can't use my keyboard. Ah! Silly me. Um, speaking of being able... Yes, it is Duck. Hi, my guy. Also known as Jeff. Um... Uh, squirrel! What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, sound-wise, a couple things. I'd love to hear from you if you ever get any crackling. Uh, it's a feature of streaming from Xbox instead of a PC, uh, and I've learned that I can fix it by pausing the stream for a while, in which case you get to watch a cool little kitty cat clock instead. Um, so I'm happy to do that. And the other thing is, uh, in the past, my game noise has sometimes been uh, too loud, and I think I have it adjusted to where it's right now, but I'd love to hear from anybody if, uh, if it's not. Okay, uh, wow, it's got to be, I'm so glad you guys aren't really, look at that, there's an outstanding application for architects, and look at that, it's from Wicked Silence, and now a member. Yay! Welcome to the guild. Guild chat. Oh, now I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Well, um, This is like one notch above watching paint dry. Welcome. It's been a long time since I've had to type on a regular keyboard. I usually have one attached. But it sometimes makes noises. I didn't want to do that. Changing characters, like you do. Ooh, I should see what the endeavors are today. Kill citizens with the Blade of Woe, mine, or kill somebody in Cyrodiil, use ultimates four times, and complete a dungeon. Well, ultimate should be pretty easy, or should be pretty easy, citizen should be pretty easy. We'll get all those. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, Duck. You guys have been enjoying the server slam on Diablo. And if I knew anything about Diablo, I'd just shift gears and start talking about that. But, man, I'm so not up to speed on all the other games. So uh, put a shout out in uh, in chat if uh, you're not sure how the whole Twitch drop thing works. Um, it's pretty easy, uh, but uh, it, it, the only daunting part is um, getting your apps connected so that when it drops, it goes where it should. My understanding is that you can actually accept the drop, it, it, you know, claim the reward after an hour, and if your apps aren't connected, uh, you can connect them later and it'll still carry through. So there are options. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I, I can help with that too. Or if you want me to talk about something else. I'm very malleable today. Oh, the server slam closes in five minutes? 
Aha! So this is a perfect time for me to be uh, hanging out and uh, getting um, uh, some viewers, because everybody's going to be shell-shocked from uh, Diablo. So I'm heading to Vivek to craft, because that's where I like to do my crafting. And I actually have a speed crafting video uh, up on my channel. It's in, it's still in the Twitch channel, but uh, w uh, they'll only stay there for a couple weeks, I believe. Uh, but I do have all of my videos archived on YouTube, which should be linked somewhere on this app. It's pretty obvious, YouTube blah, 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 slash Obwan. I, just for fun, created a new logo today because I figured sooner or later I'm going to want to use something that wasn't created by uh, the Elder Scrolls game. So it's just the letters A-W-W-B, Auburn Wonder and See, Winston the Wonder speak. Beagle. Which conveniently... A-W-W-B would be a pronunciation of the shortest version of my gamer name, which would be Ob, which is what a lot of people call me. Or Ob One. <laughs> Bliss. If you can figure it out, anybody can. Oh, you don't give yourself enough credit. You are one smart cookie. I have learned that. And Google is pretty good at things that thousands of people do. So when you ask Google how to connect an ESO app and a Twitch drop, you get lots of answers and some of them in very meticulous YouTube form. So there's no question. Nobody was more surprised than I uh, to get a drop uh, when I was streaming earlier. Uh, I think Psycho was the one who put something in chat about it, and I and I said, "Oh no, I I, had, I don't qualify for drops." Um, I guess I was under the assumption that you had to be a Twitch affiliate to be able to do that, but uh, not true. Uh, I I did go in and click on the little thing that enables drops on mine, figuring that someday I'd be able to, but apparently that day is. Today. Well, or yesterday, or the day before, or a week ago. That was kind of a metaphor. Am I explaining too much? I am. Third cup of coffee! Well, no, second cup of coffee. The first one was just in my travel mug. And So let's see, how many people were in chat? We've got Duck, Bliss, Jeff, Wicked, and Psycho. Cool, I think I finally got my five. Boy, achievements on Twitch are just as hard as some of the achievements in ESO. Um, need to have five people chatting at the same time. And I had five people chatting in the last stream, but I think one of them had already left before the fifth one started. So I didn't get the achievement. I had to get all these achievements before they'll talk to me. How does the YouTube uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, my guy. 
there should be a link on my Twitch page that will link my uh, YouTube channel. But then it's just it's just a standard YouTube channel. I've got the archived videos up there. Nothing streams to YouTube. Um, it's like possible to make it happen. You, how does YouTube work with the subs? Um, subscribing on YouTube, I think, is uh, currently a nice but not necessary feature. I think. Um, I, I, I would have to have so many thousands of followers on YouTube before anything would get monetized there that it's um, what an honor. Uh, always nice to have followers, but I don't think it makes any difference to anything, if that makes sense. Uh, what's important is that you follow the uh, Twitch channel, and uh, you've already done that, so, and I thank you. When you have enough champion points to do it, meticulous disassembly is a really good way of getting more mats when you refine and trinkets from better extraction when you deconstruct stuff. Just an FYI. Of course, it all depends on when you get those champion points in there. Probably not worth it to spend 3,000 to respec them every time you want to deconstruct. I don't think so. Oh, I did a bunch of refining last night. I don't have to do any refining now. It is good to be. That's one ultimate. Okay, next character. I have five, not that anybody cares. My main, my first character is a uh, night blade. Um, Mostly a stam blade. I do have a mag blade on build on her now. Um, but Lucky Ghost, who puts out a wonderful set of builds, uh, just updated for the upcoming Necrom chapter. So I'm not sure if um, if the build will get better when Necrom hit hits. But I went ahead and put it together. And uh, after the senior moment fiasco with with uh, Fungal Grotto. I took her into Vet Maelstrom, where I'm currently on that absolutely icky frozen arena thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, she got through it. Uh, I do have a 16 second clip that's pretty funny. Uh, I had a serious lag moment in Maelstrom, and uh, I was moving from the main boss to get to the next ice platform because she was about ready to destroy the one I was on. And I thought I'd successfully made it there and I hit my pre-buffs and uh, uh, was waiting for her to come running across at me and suddenly my body not only died but it floated up in the air about six feet and then skimmed over the surface of the water to go back to rest where I had apparently died on the island that I had previously been on. You're golfing now and still listening. Psycho. When I Just when I thought I couldn't love you more. You're the best. I wish I were more entertaining for you. I could put on my 1-900 voice. 
Oh man, that's icky. Nobody wants to hear somebody my age do that shit. Okay, uh, senior moment. I just did some things, but none of them actually involved going to craft, correct? Correct. Okay. If you hear loud, thumpy sounds in the background, that's me setting down my cup of coffee. So happy to have people watching. I know most of the folks that are uh, out there, but if you're uh, listening to the stream, uh, feel free to say hi in the chat. It's always good to see new names, see new faces. We're not faces, see new icons, I guess. Uh, and if you haven't followed me, boy, I would sure love to get some extra follows. That would be super sweet. Doc says hi in the chat. Try going to Lit's house and use the well to get your ultimate daily. Oh yeah, you know, but by the time I'm done playing fat, I'm gonna hit that ultimate so many times. Because as much as I do crafting every day, I would much rather be out destroying things. And since I'm a knight played, I have that uh, low cost 70 ultimate, uh, 70 cost ultimate. And uh, I'm popping that thing all the time. So no worries there. But thanks. It's good to have you in chat, Fat. Thanks. Aw, kitty cat on the... Oh, wait, kitty cat? No, that's not it. Wait a moment. Is that a kitty cat? Or is it... Yeah, it's a kitty cat. Okay, sorry. Squirrel! No, definitely not a squirrel. I had to figure out what to do with my event tickets. I had 12 of them yesterday, and nothing really brings joy for me from the impresario. I already bought all the bags of veteran glory that I can, because I've collected everything from there. Um, and I'm not really fond of the new skin that you can morph the passion flower thingy into. Um, so I ended up going to the Indrik vendor and got one of the Indrik pets. Um, uh, if you don't know, there is an Indrik, whenever there's an event live, there is an Indrik vendor in, uh, Belkarth in Craigland. And they always have the fragments for the regular Indrik mount and for, um, a couple of the special mounts. And then they always have, uh, a couple pets available, but only during events. So I went and got myself the Rin, oh, I'll know it when I see it. It starts with an R. Rhyme Dusk, that's it. The Rhyme Dusk Indrik, it's got a nice sort of opalescent color. It goes well with my Templar. My Templar is named, he, he was originally designed as a healer, can do healing. Uh, is named Ty uh, Dr. Simon Tamriel. It's pretty much the only thing I really like about him. I don't know. I'm just not inspired by Templars. Uh, he's ramping up a couple skills. Actually, just one skill, I guess, now. I found that the uh, Equilibrium uh, skill and its morph is kind of handy if... Uh, you just really want to slay something fast and it's not damaging you very much. You can sacrifice um, 4k, 4.5k health to get Magicka back. As long as you don't accidentally spam it when you're dying anyway, it'll certainly bring you a faster death. Uh, 
Um, but it's kind of a nice way to get some extra stamina. Ah, mag. 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 I said mag. Working writ. Okay, and yet another jewelry crafting writ, which I'll throw in the bank just in case somebody sends me a thousand iridium someday. And Ice Reach Coven, which this character can't craft, but my main can. So. Tossing that in a chest for her. Um, as I've frequently mentioned in the stream, I am CDO, which is OCD in alphabetical order, the way it should be. And so my inventory, unlike some of that of my friends, not mentioning anybody in particular, but their initials are Tantric Slacker, um, uh, I, I don't have inventory problems, but everything has its place and everything stays there. Uh, I have one chest in my house that's dedicated for tune transfer. So uh, whenever I have a tune or a character uh, that needs to give something to another character, it goes in the tune transfer box. So motifs that my main has read or recipes that some of my longer characters have read go in there. You have more. So I tend to sell everything that wants selling. And then if there's anything to deconstruct, I do that. And then I go to my tune transfer chest and put anything in there that somebody else in my house is going to want. So in this case, that's the woodworking writ. And then all of my survey maps not and treasure maps go in the bank because you never know when you're gonna want those. So you wanna be able to pull them out anywhere because I have the banker that travels with me. Actually, Duck, I believe that was the, uh, I believe that was what you purchased me early on in our guild history. I was so tickled. I think you uh, you sent gold to Lit, who used some crowns to buy me Baron Jangle Plume the Banker, for which I was very grateful. And I also have the Peddler of Prizes, and I have my deconstruction. I don't really trust them, because, you know, I don't know what you've heard this about deconstruction chick is um, out of Fargrave and a Dramora. I don't think I can trust her, so I put her in a gibbet. I was happy to find out that she actually works through the gibbet. I was afraid that was going to make her impossible to use. But I need to have boundaries with her. She's just troubling. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm using an ultimate. Uh, did I do all the things? Yeah, I think I did all the things. Yep, did all the things. Next! We're up to character number four out of five. Winston is ecstatic about this whole crafting process.
<laughs> oh, joy, crafting. Yeah, probably. Um, you know what Winston really likes? Unlike Ember, Winston really likes fishing. And that's because it's super easy to fish with one hand. So, and, and, it's, and it's an easy task to do with my right hand. And since Winston is usually on my left, that means he gets to enjoy constant ear rubs. So uh, Winston loves fishing. Unless sometimes I fish while I'm on my uh, bike. Uh, in the winter especially, I'll put my bike up on a stand and then I'll uh, go to that one delve, the Durzog delve place in Rothgar because there's a bunch of fishing right inside the door. Uh, and uh, and I'll just camp out there and fish and bike. And every time I uh, every time a fishing hole goes dry, I change the setting on my bike to be a little bit tougher. And so I uh, go up about three or four levels, and by that point I'm getting pretty bored of fishing anyway. And then I'll uh, when the next hole dries up, I will. Um, uh, dial it down so it's a little bit easier and, uh, and then clean all my fish. Hey, do you guys know the exciting news about cleaning fish? Oh my god, it's almost as exciting as getting a new class of characters. The exciting news is that when the new update drops, you will be able to clean an entire stack of fish all at once instead of doing it one at a time. Isn't that the most exciting thing you've heard today? Uh, you will be able to do it from your provisioning exciting. station, your cook fire, or any cook fire, and it will be an option similar to refining. Uh, and I believe there will be a little note there on how to make that happen and stuff, but uh, yeah, how cool is that? Um, I used to do a lot of cleaning fish while I was waiting for, um, uh, if I was waiting in queues or um, standing around waiting for a monster to respawn, I'd just quick slot it and clean fish then. Exciting news. I also understand that they're going to do something to the collections menu so that when you go into collections, there will be certain things, I'm not sure if it applies to houses, but I know it'll apply to mounts and pets, where you can set up and have a favorite list of mounts and pets, and then they will appear at the top of those menus. And apparently there will also be a selection for um, randomizing something. I think it's just randomizing the mounts. So you can, um, if you want to set your mount to be... Um, a random mount or set it to be a random favorite mount, assuming you have more than one favorite listed in that category. Uh, and then um, uh, it'll just, every time you mount up, it'll just pick, pick a random one for you. Kind of fun, huh? Uh... I feel like <laughs> I feel like a teacher. Clap if you can hear the sound of my voice. Uh, no, actually, what I was going to ask is if uh, if you're listening live to the audio, uh, let me know if there's any crackling or if the game sound is interfering. I want to make sure I fix those issues. Uh, I just have to be aware of them. I can see what's happening video-wise on the uh, monitor, but I don't have the technology. Uh, to monitor the audio stream for crackles. <laughs> yes, Duck, you may have a smoke break. Thank you. If you do take me into the bathroom with you on some device, I, I don't know that I want to know about it. <laughs> I have listened to other people's Twitch streams in all the rooms in the house. Yeah. 
So being OCD as I am, when I create alchemy writs, I create stacks of them so that uh, I don't have to make alchemy stuff. Wow, that's a that's a big guy. I think the Hulk is playing Country Bumpkin. Oh, Fat, you'll love this. His character name starts with Fat. Fat Bumpkin. I'm going to follow him just to get a better look. And he's wearing a very attractive Nordic bather's towel. Runs fast for a big guy. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Oh, look at that. If he isn't just in a brand new adorable. card game, Tales of Tribute. Huh. Nice sturdy thighs. Farmer tan. Look at that. A farmer tan. Um, I may have been in the middle of a sentence that nobody needed to hear the end of. Oh, uh, whenever I make poisons or potions for alchemy writs, for the daily writs, I, uh, I always make them so I have 48 of them, so they all run out roughly within a day or two of each other. So, uh, to get the, uh, not the lowest... Not the lowest common denominator, but the something common factorial. I don't even remember what it's called. At any rate, I make uh, I three like of the poisons because I get 16 each for 48. And I make 12 of the potions because 12 times 4 gives me the same 48. That is when you know... Oop, got a woodworking writ. Malakath. Only one more character left to do crafting. And then I'll be on to the next thing. Duck! Hi, Duck. I'm traveling away from... Well, now I'm not traveling away from you. Hi. What are you doing? Nice mount. Yes! Are we going to race? Whoa! <laughs> my, uh... It wasn't me, Duck. It was my horse. My horse fell in the water. Uh, were you gonna try to... Were you gonna take your mount up to the top of the blacksmithing thing? Is that what you were... Um, that's one of my favorites. I, I don't know if I've done it with this one. Okay, on your mark, go. Oh, didn't stop fast enough. Oh, forgot to jump. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Bad, bad time jump, so third time's not the charm. Oh, this is embarrassing now. There we go. Whee! Just hanging out on top of a very hot kiln, like you do. You're welcome to join me up here, Duck. We can make room. I was so excited the first time I was able to make that jump and get up here. I would see people up here on occasion and wonder how they had done it. And then I would start coming up here and doing emotes like crocheting. It's a perfect place to do your Tai Chi. All right. She did all the things, right? She looked and did all the things and the stuff and the things. Ooh, 
Ooh, you know what? I know exactly where that blacksmith survey is. And since we need to mine ore, we're just going to go mine some ore in Stone Falls. I think that's what it was for, wasn't it? Yep, blacksmith Stone Falls. I know exactly where that is. That, however, is not stone falls. This is stone falls. And it's right over here somewhere. The stream has been going for 52 minutes now, so in about 10 minutes or so, if you haven't gotten your uh, drop, you should get it. I'm also going to do a uh, stream on Tuesday. There's a two-hour window for Twitch drops. I'm sure it's associated with some stunning news thing that Bethesda's coming out with, would be my guess. Um, but uh, all ESO streams will be Twitch drop enabled. So from noon to 1 o'clock Central Time on Tuesday, I'm going to do a quick uh, uh, stream. You only need to be in that one for 15 minutes to get the crate. Uh, granted, these are all Ouroboros, uh, Ouroboros, fat, you say this better than I do, or Ouroboros, Ouroboros, uh, crates, which I'm pretty sure is Greek or piece of shit, because they are usually lousy crates, and you'll get, like, five, four cards worth of Crown lethal poisons. But you can turn those into crown gems, so they're not completely useless. Um, at least you get crown gems. Um, I'm a little nervous about doing a stream on Tuesday because it's a big concert day for me. Some of you know, some of you don't. Many of you wouldn't care anyway. Um, but I do a fair amount of conducting in my professional life. And Tuesday night, I have a uh, last concert of the season for a 65-piece concert band that's doing some hardcore music. We're doing uh, Mars from the Planets by Gustav Holst. And uh, we're doing a collection of a medley of songs of Aaron Copeland's, including Fanfare for the Common Man and Appalachian Spring. We're also doing some Fiddler on the Roof, and we're opening our concert with the Coronation March from Star Wars, which should be pretty exciting. I think it's probably what King Charles should have had for music, but didn't. But hey, no accounting for taste. Yes, hardcore music. Um, sure, as soon as I make enough money streaming to buy, like, uh, the equipment necessary to stream the music while I game and enough Wi-Fi to cover the music and the streaming and the monitoring and the gaming and also not make myself crazy with outside music. Yeah, sure, I'll be doing that, Fat. Absolutely. And then there's also copyright stuff that uh, you actually have to take care of. That. But, um, yeah, I know most of the, most of the really uh, popular streamers uh, can't afford it and they do some great live music. 
I thought about, oh, Tange, you're here with DMCA. It's not worth it. <gasps> DMCA. I, I, I don't know what that is. Help me, Tange. I am not clever with acronyms. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. You, I guess I, it's the Copyright Act. Yeah. Um, I guess I never call it that. I just always say copyright law. <laughs> I never, uh, in my defense, when I practiced law, and yes, yes, that was something. I'm on like my sixth career now. Um, but when I practiced law, I did not do anything related to copyright. Um, so that's all completely different okay this is my newest character she's my oaken sork she's still leveling up a bunch of stuff so i always have to check to see what's ready to go now we've got a couple things that are ready to max out so i want to make sure she has some ethereal ambrosia on her she's got one left let's get some on the bank more to youtube than yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, uh, I'm in charge of the streaming that our uh, church does to YouTube and um, uh, YouTube and Facebook, and I uh, respond to copyright things all the time. Um, uh, we we're very careful about having licenses for everything that we. Um, I'm having a hard time doing a simple act as splitting a stack and taking it out of the bank here. Let's see if I can get it right now. There we go. Um, and, and yeah, I'm constantly having to file responses to things where they say this is copyright. And it's like, yeah, but did you see the notice right under it that said I have a license to use it? Um, of course, bots control all of that stuff. And the bots look for the music and they don't read everything. Oh yeah, my interpretation of the law. Make a soundtrack for each character. Yeah, you know, um, it's funny you should say that, Bliss, because one of the things I was thinking I could do is uh, take music that I love or music that I create myself. Uh, I'm not a composer, but I can um, play some nice, uh, you know, new agey type stuff, uh, things that aren't under copyright. Uh, but then uh, since I don't have a mixer currently to get it into the stream, I was thinking, well, I could just like, you know, put a loud speaker next to my headset <laughs> and have it that way. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of um, music that's always available as um, public domain or people that publish under Creative Commons and you can frequently use that, but... Um, you know, the other thing is, ooh, I have a quest from my companion. Um, the, uh, oh, I didn't talk to her enough. I would. My father and the late Lord Jorvel, since I, I, as much as I can. Okay, there, now I have to talk to her enough. Um, uh, I get a lot of my cues. Uh, combat cues from music in the game, uh, especially uh, running around keeps in Cyrodiil. Uh, the easiest way to figure out if there's somebody running through your keep is to get on your horse and ride around in a circle and see when the music changes. Um, so yeah, I'd be, uh, I'd be dismayed to lose contact with that. What do you mean battlegrounds suck? You just gotta get comfy with the idea of dying a lot. Once you get comfy with that, it's totally fine. Uh, I had a blast in Battlegrounds last night with my uh, Warden. Um, most of you know my Warden as a, a Trials healer, but uh, she has a, 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 a PvP setup that's uh, shield-based for the most part. A little bit of damage, a whole lot of shields. 
she is awesome for things like uh, the chaos ball. She's great at chaos ball. Um, because I can get in there and grab it and then shield myself six ways from Sunday. Um, so yeah, she had fun. She, she died a fair amount last night, but she had a good time. She got like 3,000 points from stealing flags because half the people in the battleground were more concerned with killing each other than actually doing the, doing the thing that wants doing. Oh yeah, and it, it, you know, that's the... Battlegrounds and Cyrodiil. I mean, I understand the fun part of Imperial City with uh, Telvar stones uh, and the fact that anybody who kills you gets half of your Telvar stones. Um, but it's nice. Battlegrounds are nice in a couple ways. Not only do you not lose anything, um, but it doesn't damage your gear. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's like it's an easy way to die. Uh, and Cyrodiil, not a lot of penalties for dying a lot, except for the, oh my god, I'm now in the middle of bumblefuck Cyrodiil and I can't get back to where I was. Um, when the queue isn't long, the trick to that is just traveling back and forth from Cyrodiil to Imperial City. Because uh, you can just leave Cyrodiil at any point, go to the Imperial City sewers, and then come back to Cyrodiil and be at the gate. Oh, yeah, when you could uh, pick your battleground uh, type. Um, yeah, the new system. Although I will say this, um, Tange, uh, it's, it doesn't seem like I've been getting... It used to be that you got nothing but deathmatch, and it seems to be a little bit more even now. Hey, remember all that time I spent taking the ethereal ambrosia out of the bank? Yeah, I forgot to, like, actually drink it! before I turned all those quests in. Ugh. Like I said, I can fight and talk. I cannot craft and talk. Always in last freaking place. Yeah. You know, and so much of it, my guy, is luck of the draw with, you know, 12 random people being tossed in there and... Um. Ooh, Nord. She can make Nord. She's going to take her Ethereal Ambrosia now before she forgets. Oh, I suppose I, I should check to make sure she has enough traits for this. Willow's Path. All right. Willow's Path. How many traits does that take? Six. And what do they want me to make? Infused sabatons. Sabatons! Tange! They want me to make sabatons! Do I have the trait for making infused sabatons? Yes, I do. And I have six traits. Oh, the scary thing is I'm going to open up my laptop and hope that I, a different laptop, oh, it's a long story. I have exactly six sabatons. Ah, six sabatons. Six traits. I have exactly six traits. So. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I totally hear you, Tanj. I usually try to get the uh, 1,000 points one, too. Uh, malicious damaging... Oh, well, it's, yeah, I, you know, it is. It's from the same uh, word source as Sabotage. Uh, there's a great uh, quote about that in Star Trek, the motionless picture, number one. 
I think it's number one. Uh, where they're talking about sabotaging something. And um, Lieutenant Savick, I think, says something to the effect of, from the Dutch word sabo for shoe, meaning to throw a shoe into the machinery for sabotage. So, yep, excellent. Okay, uh, do I go to Lit's house or do I go to Jimmy's house to make this? Uh, first one to give me an answer wins. Am I going to Lit's home or Jimmy's home? Lit. Okay, I'm going to Lit's home. Yeah, you know, uh, battlegrounds altogether. And, you know, I had an awful night that night. Because whatever battleground you guys went into, I ended up in a different battleground, no matter what I did. Um, but I had an idea for a PvP thing that would be fun, uh, and that is to get a group of us on all three colors to go to the Imperial City Arena and go into the arena where monsters appear to kill, but also have at each other, because there's an achievement for killing like 100 players while you're in the arena. Uh, and uh, uh, I know Duck is concerned he'd be targeted, and of course he would be. But he could take it. Uh, and, uh, you know, somebody said, well, then we'd need rules about, you know, no hitting somebody who's resing. I'm like, screw that. You're in a PvP zone. There are no rules. Kill people. If they try to res somebody, kill them again. Okay. We, I do have everything. Aw, sacrificial lamb. I don't know. Dragon Knights. I have a hard time killing Dragon Knights with my Nightblade Tange. I'm just saying. They just come at me with that two handed, and all I hear is that ping against my armor constantly. So hey, uh, while I'm traveling, I'm looking back in chat to see if there's anything I missed. If somebody said something that I should have responded to, my apologies for that. I'm not as good at the multitasking, and I have to, uh, because it's on an Xbox, I can't have the chat on the screen. So I have to look elsewhere for it. Mmm, tanky. Do you think there's a sweet shop around here? Yeah, it's hard to find that fine line in PvP where you're tanky enough to not die all the time, but can still do some damage. Because there are always nuisance tanks in Cyrodiil that all they do is run around and, and, you know, encourage people to try to kill them. And I've seen a dozen people try to take out some of the tankier ones. Oh, but they also, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, one can't kill anything. So, yeah, finding that balance is um, is a challenge. Yay! Radiation, radiating regeneration, increased rank four. So, uh, my Sork has two builds. One of them is uh, a build in progress. So I'm working on putting together skills for her to be a Sork healer. Um, and I put that build on when I do crafting so that she gets some ramping up from that. And then uh, her other build is her heavy attack Sork build. I actually just put a PvP build on her too. Um, uh, oh, starting to get the clicks. Might need that pause soonish. Perfect timing. I will do that now. 
enjoy this kitty clock for a moment, folks. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back after a little pause. I managed to accomplish several things on that pause, one of which was getting myself an adult beverage, because, hey, it's Mother's Day, and I'm the mother of a beagle, and also just sort of generally speaking a mother, um, not in the kind way. Uh, so uh, it's time for an adult beverage, what do you say? Uh, I'm hoping the clicks are not happening. And the other thing I accomplished was that I made a little close-up for my dog. Oh, he's going to do that thing that's going to look really creepy, though, pretty soon. He's going to fall asleep, and his head is going to go off the side. I'm going to turn my camera off for a sec and give my poor boy a pillow so that doesn't happen. Alrighty. Ah, good boy, Winston. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for mentioning it. Yes, uh, Stormmaster is getting nerfed, but 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 but, Stormmaster is getting nerfed with respect to PvP. It's still going to work, um, pretty much the exact same way against monsters. Um, it's not going to work against PvP, and honestly, the better choice is Night Slayer anyway. That's Knight with a K, by the way. Um, uh, and that's what I ended up putting on my Sork for her heavy attack build. So let me, let me bring that up. 
People save. Uh, armory save my healer. I still I want a little sign that goes above or around my armory assistant's neck that says this character has gone 42 days without an armory assistant accident. Um, so this was designed to be good in non-CP things like battlegrounds, but I have taken it into Cyrodiil and uh, CP Imperial City, and it's worked well there too. So here's her um, PvP uh, Sork uh, setup. All right, um, using Night Slayer um, on the weapons and I believe the jewelry. Well, Oak and Soul. And then uh, where's my other, and I have another Night Slayer there. Um, but she's using um, uh, Falcon Scoria for a single headpiece to get the penetration. And then five, five piece uh, Sergeant's Mail and five piece Night Slayer. Night Slayer adds Magicka, spell damage, health, and then your heavy attacks uh, deal additional damage as Oblivion damage, which in PvP is great. Um, so that's a, that's a nice little... Um, I've been liking that build. That's been working out pretty well for me. Uh, and I think if she has her skills all leveled up in there... So yeah, and this is what she's using. Uh, crit Surge. Um, streak for PvP, although um, sometimes I do put uh, something else there, and I'm not remembering what my other option was. Oh, Hardened Ward, um, if I'm uh, getting killed too much. Uh, Haunting Curse, Magus Wrath, and then the Matriarch. For PvE stuff, I've been using the Tormentor one. And then uh, Storm Atronach, or um, actually, uh, sometimes I've uh, switched that out to the Power Overload. Um, which is also um, good. It takes a while to get used to running that. I haven't used it that much. Um, but it works different than most ultimates because it uh, drains it slowly and you can toggle it off and you know, build it back up at some point. So. Ooh, Jimmy just whispered me something and I'm not gonna show it on screen for very long so that it remains a secret. But it's going to be pretty obvious because. Oblivion damage. Well, it's going to be disregarded. All. Yeah, I think. I'd have to look. I'm honestly not certain whether they've changed the concept of oblivion damage or if it's just certain things now have less oblivion damage on them than previous. I erect. Sorry, I'm just intensely um, taking stuff from the little bank. Yay! All right. Uh, what was I doing? Somebody help me. I finished. Finished. Did I finish? Did she do her crafting? Yes, she did her crafting. She turned her crafting in. And now she was going to do her dailies. That's what she was doing. Okay. Uh, did anybody get their Twitch drop yet? 
Or did, have you all gotten them from before? So uh, this is my only character that doesn't have rapport maxed out with companions. So I put Isabel on when I visit the Undaunted, and then I put Bastion on when I visit the Mage's Guild. Ah, you did get mine. You, you did get yours from the last stream. That's marvelous, Duck. I'm glad to hear I always it. Thought shit did you get anything in yours that wasn't crap? Oh, that's another thing uh, that's going to be changed in the next patch. It's not going to take for fucking ever to level your companion's rapport anymore. And I also believe there's going to be something the rude that's going the noise, to the chaos. Uh, that make the last few levels of ability a little Your easier son? to get as well. That there's going to be some, some ramp up thing in there based on what your, maybe it's based on your rapport with them. At any rate, um, not gonna be as much of a grind. <laughs> it was crap, but you didn't do much to get it anyways. Hey, you know, free, it was, you know, absolutely worth the price. And I know, I know you just burned through a lot of crown gems, Duck, getting that uh, exceptional amount of yours. So uh, building up your supply of crown gems again. Uh, I swear that almost all of the crown gems I've gotten have been from the Ouroboros, a.k.a. piece of shit, uh, crown crates. Stranger, may we speak? Um, okay. I seem to be running somewhere, and yet I think I don't have the right build on. Hmm. All right, so now we're on the standard heavy attack sort build. Am I leveling anything on this? All right, I am going to go to Razak's Wheel in Bankerai next. Who are we going to take with us? Uh, let's take Larry. Yep, three million gold for a birthday mount and worth it. Wait, we are <clears throat> we are talking about. What do you about say a, we try some of the local fare? We are talking about a Famished. horse or animal you ride here, right? I'll make sure I'm not misunderstanding. Okay, great birthday mount. Well, Duck, I'm going to be um, traveling to Bankerai, so if you want to put another beautiful shot of that mount um, uh, on the air for everybody to see, just uh, find me outside of Twin Arches. We'll make sure to Dream a lovely picture of you on your mount. get Ember out, because she likes it when I take Thieves' Troves. Okay. On my way. 
all right duck i will look for you outside of Wait, that's not a mount. You're sitting in a wheelbarrow. Dude. Did you get stuck? Nice. That is really gorgeous. Hold on. Ow. So, is that... So the... So the teeth are part of the armor and not part of the animal, it looks like, right? That's cool. Very nice. Oh, tilt-a-whirl. Got sort of a rhinoceros horn thing going. Oh, and then when the ice wears off, it really w changes the look of it. I love the frosty skulls on the side. That's neat. Very cool. Thank you for bringing that here so we could show that. And this is, remind me the name of this again, Duck? I always feel bad asking questions knowing that it's pain in the ass to answer in text. And while you're contemplating that, I'm just running up here to get this eyeball slash striking locale. Ice Rage Bear. Very nice. Thanks, Duck. Appreciate it. Saddle up, move them out. Wait, are you following me? No. I was pretty sure you had more exciting things to do than Razak's wheel, but I could be wrong. Ooh, never stop for, how is it pronounced? Tange knows how it's pronounced. Bugloss? I always wanted to call it Bugloss, but it, it's not. It's like bu Bugloss, Bugloss. I'm totally butchering that, sorry. I have a love-hate relationship with this place. I am like an ernophiliac. Oh, Winston. Yeah? I'm just gonna have to adjust your camera. Yeah, I find it really hard to not pick up all the urns when I see them. 
And I realize that I mostly get lock picks and stuff, but still, free stuff. And you know, there might be just that million dollar pattern for something laying around in there. Okay, I won't like go out of my way to get them, but if they're in my path, I'm gonna have to stop. I keep Ember healed. Oh, because this is my heavy attack build and I have the Tormentor, not the Matriarch. So I don't think I actually have any healed. The crit surge doesn't help me out. guy big sword 35 level 35 obviously overcompensating but i'm gonna help him kill a few things because i am not a dick Lost audio for a second, was that me? Huh, it, it could have been me. I mean, uh, it's a frickin' miracle that this thing works at all with the hamsters that I have turning the wheel. Um, there are plenty of opportunities for things to fail. I uh, should probably get better Wi-Fi and probably get a new Xbox and probably a better microphone. Um, but hey, uh, my plan is if I can make it to becoming a Twitch affiliate, give me some followers, I need more followers, uh, and get any uh, subscriptions out of it. No. For the first year, I uh, would plan on turning all of the um, subscription money around into making up Making everything a little bit uh, smoother to run. <laughs> Mush hamsters. Yeah, it's not the worst Wi-Fi, um, but um, it's not. Solid. And I have a couple laptops. I use my newer laptop for monitoring the stream, uh, and that doesn't give me any troubles. Um, but my old laptop, which has all all of my gaming info on it because of course I'm OCD so I have all these lists and uh, uh, database files and stuff like that and I mostly use those on my old laptop Let and that go. for whatever reason just opening it frequently causes my game to break so I keep that closed when I'm streaming so that everything will go bad all the time All right. So I have a Bulgrel daily in Malabal 4. This one down here. 
here. Mm-mm-mm. Adult beverages are good. Anybody else adult anybody else day drinking with me? I'm checking Discord to see if by chance there's a trial tonight, but it doesn't look like there is. I figured as much with Mother's Day and all. Okay. Isabel loves delves, so we're gonna get Isabel out here. She likes it if you kill the elf. Which I will be, because the bold world quests always have to kill. Not today, that's okay. Yeah, no, no worries, Duck. I wasn't expecting a trial today. I knew there w one hadn't been added earlier. Um... I have a little bit of an itching to go back and try Vatishran again now that I have a slightly different build. A little nervous about it because it's a high maintenance. Well, it's kind of a high maintenance build. It uses Coral Riptide, which um, is sort of the stamina equivalent of Basse's Mania. So the lower your uh, stamina, the more weapon damage you do. And uh, sustain has always been a bit of an issue for uh, my knife blade. Partially because I suck at heavy attacking. Um, and this seems to work pretty well, but um, it, it does require I be careful about keeping shields up and my resistances are pretty low. I'm, I'm on the final boss on Vet Vatishran, so, you know, Unfortunately, there's no way you can ramp up to that kind of thing. It's plunge in, and it's, oh my god, hard right now. I did manage to get one of the jumps taken care of. But of course, that's um, not that's not something that'll be saved when I get back there. But I am, am curious as to whether this build will be a little bit kinder to me. My other one was fairly kind, but I couldn't do damage fast enough, so I was struggling with the um, that ring that closes around you. Although <laughs> I do also, I, I have also done it where I use ambush to get through it, but the problem then is that you have to make sure you have a an ad available on the other side of the line that you can target to jump through, because you can't just Use it like streak uh, whenever you want. You have to have a target. Ah, uh, the challenges of being a knight. I'm really kind of glad that I started my ESO career on a nightblade because it's so freaking hard. It's hard to keep the rotation up. The resources are challenged. Um, it's got some definite advantages. I mean the. The ultimate regen on it is awesome, and the, the cheap ultimate is um, very useful. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a high maintenance build, I think. So starting with that and then switching to other builds uh, has been easier. Kind of like learning English as your first language, because I can't imagine what a pain in the ass it must be to learn English as a second language when all of our rules have 14 exceptions. I ignored the ring. If you burn the Void Witch fast enough, it will disintegrate before... It well, that's, that's, that's wonderful that you were able to pull that off, Tange. Um, but the problem is you have to disintegrate her down to 10% uh, right at the time that the ring is up. And there's a little bit of RNG involved in when that ring comes up. You can't predictably say it comes up at a certain percentage. 
Um, so sometimes she's nowhere near that when it uh, comes up and there's no way uh, I could burn her down fast enough to keep it from going. Um, I think with the setup that I have. Oh, and there's another thing that's going to change. I know it sounds like a small thing, but honest to God, for the um, for the ring, I think it might make a difference for me. The uh, plan is to change most of the five meter melee skills back to seven meters. I believe it was seven originally, and then they moved it to five, and now they're going to walk it back to seven. Um, just to give you a little bit more freedom uh, in some of those things so you're not having to stand literally on top of stuff. Oh, um, on the Okasork. No, I'm, I'm finishing off Fet Fadishran with my Nightblade. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Duck, I totally agree with you. It's like Heavy Sork is like, wow, I just push these buttons in this order and then Heavy Attack a lot? Okay, I, I like that. Um, Nightblade, it's like, you know, two pre-buffs and, and then, um, you know, all these dots and, um, fire your spectral arrow every, uh, you know, every other ultimate. You'll have one ultimate without your spectral arrow and one with and always do your ultimate before your spectral arrow. Uh, and for God's sake, make sure you have leeching strikes up or you're not going to get enough stam back and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think on the Oka yeah, I think on almost anything else that final boss fight might be <laughs> easier, but um, I've got Vet Maelstrom started with most of my characters. I finished it once on my Nightblade and she's up to the sixth I think the sixth arena. Whichever one has the spiders and the webs. We are good at this. Oh, she's up to that <laughs> on her second go round. Um, I don't know that I've started any of my other characters on Vatishran um Vet. But I probably should. Um, I might find it to be useful. I'm just going to take a moment here, standing in a dungeon, to check and see who we all have sitting around in chat. Ooh, Sasquatch is real is back. Hey, Sasquatch. Good to see you again. I apologize if you posted something and I missed it, but thanks for being here. And that wonderful oh shit button that you hover your finger over. Is that the uh, oh my god Twilight Matriarch heal me button? That one? Um, I'm guessing it's that one. I got so used to running it as a tormentor that uh, I forget how wonderful it is as a, as a, uh, as a uh, heal when I've got the matriarch active. All right, I have nine minutes to get these things back to where they belong, so I think I'm just gonna focus for a moment and turn them in. Uh, wait a moment. Didn't watch 100% on your Maelstrom, but are you using the sigils? Well, um, the Maelstrom run that I did, Duck, on uh, the Magblade build, I was just doing that on normal. So <laughs> I wasn't using the sigils. I wasn't using my heal. And half the time, I was only using one bar. Um, on on Vet, yeah. Uh, on Vet, I try to make uh, use of them. And I usually try to remind myself of which ones I want to hit when. Um, and I probably need to do that a little bit more on the um, on the final round of uh, Vatishran too. But um, yeah, Maelstrom on Vet, um, I am hitting them. And sometimes I don't even care which one I'm hitting. It's just like uh, anything will be good right now. <laughs> Oh, on Sork, yes, on Nightblade Vigor, yep. <gasps> yeah, 
Yeah, it's interesting. The build that I'm uh, trying out as a solo stam build, it's one of the few Nightblade builds, stam blade builds, I've seen that doesn't use leeching strikes. Um, part of that is because the Coral Riptide you wants you to have low stamina, preferably around 33%. Which, um, hitting 33% for me is no problem. Uh, not hitting 0% uh, is more of my problem on my Nightblade. Uh, and sometimes I think I just need to slow down and play the mechanics more and not worry about being parsing rotation fast like. Abhorrent. Some say that the Mages Guild is just a fancy book club. A club with some right. very deep. Can I help you with something? Yay, I'm friendly with Bastion. And Isabel, I believe, was the one who gave me a quest, yes? Uh the Basai builds on dummies. What a waste of time. Yeah, I put the Basai build Thank you on so much. Um, Hopefully. Uh, I put the Basai build on my only mag character that didn't have problems with sustain. So it really wasn't doing me <laughs> any good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I took that off. Okay, we're going to Stros Makai. You landstriders are all insane. And Makara is the worst of you. She yeah, so I'm not entirely sure on the specifics of what the next update is going to change for everybody. I understand that Templars are going to get a little bit extra love. Um, they're nerfing Plague Break. Um, it'll still be as useless as it was in PvP as before. I mean, I guess it's not totally useless, but it's not as good. Um, but in PvP, it, it, it'll be okay in PvP for... Um, Your gold looks better in our vaults than You won't be able to exploit it anymore. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, it was that you could exploit it by making use of... Um, NPCs that were hanging around where you were also planning on killing players. Um, so, for example, um, you could go to a flag where there were... I always get Stros Mackay and uh, Knarthi's Rooster. Um, uh, you could you could go to a flag in Cyrodiil, and if you targeted an NPC with your plague break and it procced, um, it would deal a percentage of that damage to everybody in the area when the NPC would clear it. Because unlike a player that goes, oh, I have Plague Break on, I should be careful and not purge it, um, the NPCs weren't smart enough for that, and so they would always purge it and then infect everybody around them. And that dealt a significant amount of damage to players because the NPC wasn't nerfed by the usual Cyrodiil battle spirit type of stuff. Um, so it was a great way of almost turning yourself into a bomber around a flag with plague break. That's going to go away, and it's now only going to be... You can only proc it against um, uh, players. I'm not saying that right. At any rate, you're not going to be able to proc it on an NPC and have it applied. Uh, 
somebody's here. Oh, I don't have Isabel out. That's why this is not going well. If you see a pawn shop, give a shout. I want to get a gift for Aurelia. Oh, I probably was in this area. And now I have to leave this area. Ooh, Sky Shard! This is my only character who still needs most Sky Shards. My Dragon Knight still needs them in some areas, but my sword has no idea what's going on. Khan is innocent. All right. There she is. Who's that with her? He looks familiar. Mm. I can't believe the town guard ah, didn't yes. want to help us. Somewhat we'll strapping, looking, and very attractive. I bet he's just laying low somewhere on the island. Hi, Captain Marshall. I'll talk to I you in a sec. I cannot believe you lost that ring, Aurelia. <sighs> Hello, Captain Marceau. Funny to see you here. Good to see uh, you, Isabel. I know you're okay. upset, but the thief may still be on the island. Perhaps more stolen goods this guy who drops things reliably that every air 20 place? feet. Hard to follow somebody like that. Oh no, I only have 42 seconds left on my Ethereal Ambrosia. I'll never finish this quest by then. Hmm, you know what? I don't really need my Ethereal Ambrosia. Where did Isabel go? I had her out. Why did she go away? Nothing personal, Duck. I just figure I should finally get around to leaving this group that I created with you. So. I hope this will be a quick game. Game audio is starting to go poppy. All right, it's time for the cat clock. Hold on, folks. Hold on, folks. I'll be back in just a second.
Thank you. Oh, no, he got away. Isabel, I'm so and sorry. And we're back. I'm hoping the sound is good, and I do you thank you for letting me know that. Um, everything I've read suggests yes, that after about uh, 45 minutes or so, Aurelia, uh, crackles tend to, to start on you? the Xbox. And, uh, ooh, a list of punishments, including beheading, gelding, mm, 20 lashes, hide cage, the grave. Ooh, keel hauling is in here too. Mm. Wow. Uh, all right. I'm going to say that. Vardenfell. There are no dumb questions, but revaluations of your stupidity at a later date can be amusing. <laughs> That's brilliant, Duck. I like that. One of my favorite lines, and I forget which famous person said it. Maybe it was Einstein. Maybe it was Mark Twain. I sometimes get the two of them confused, you know. Uh, it was, uh, you can either keep your mouth shut and let people assume you are a fool or open it and remove all doubt. Ooh, I happen to know there's a sky shard just waiting for me in Sedanine. I don't know about anybody else, but whenever I go to Sedanine, I just have this really cool, really nostalgic help. feel for Morrowind. And arriving here that first time as a new character. Um, yeah, it was. I, I just had real pleasant flashbacks. Okay, search. Well, I suppose if I got out of this little courtyard, I'd have better, have better luck finding her. Ah, yes, I remember this quest. I'm after a shyster who also happens to be bisexual. So he leaves men and women in his wake. I've been making some experimental I gotta appreciate that as a fellow bisexual. Mixtures, and I'd love to try them out. Or as Woody Allen said, being bisexual means... N means it's twice as sad when you don't have a date on Saturday night. Stendar help us. Something like that. I guess that. we're heading to Wayrest. It's like the pool is bigger, but your odds are worse. I forget. There's some clever way he said that for me. Don't be surprised if you see Point me in way rest. That better Fine. deserves some payback. Oh, Winston, do you have opinions about this? I'm going to way west. I'm going to way west. I'm going to weigh my weary head on a pillow in way west. Wait, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, finding the finding the guy. Or actually, not finding the guy, finding everybody who's in his wake. As I recall, I don't actually find him until I get to the Now I find the guy that he's ditched, right? How could I have trusted him? I don't know, dude. Is there something? Who just, to go I can tell okay, who just left a random blood altar thing here? This is just like here. a romance novel I read once. Aurelia is going to go... Poor thing. 
That dastardly man, how could he? Now I got a build. I decided these two have the what right idea. You wanna help track twilight? him down? I plan to make sure he remembers me. By the eight, you're right. Self pity serves no one. Oh. <laughs> to get to Belkarth, okay? I can get to Belkarth by going to Duck's primary residence. <laughs> you know, Duck, as somebody who for the last two hours and four minutes has done nothing but babble stupid conversation. <laughs> I'm not so sure that I'm guessing that I'm guessing that your dad and I would not have gotten along. <laughs> so I could take you on an unauthorized tour of Duck Farts primary residence. Good stretch, Winston. Good boy. Yeah, you know what? Mom's going to finish this quest, and then you get a walk, and then Mom's got cards in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. You just lay that head back.